In this video, we will dive into the fascinating world of the late, talented R&B singer Gerald Levert and the son of the OJ's lead vocalist, Eddie Levert. Known for his smooth vocals and captivating stage presence, Gerald not only left an indelible mark on the music industry but also had a reputation as a ladies' man. Gerald Levert was indeed a heartthrob, capturing the attention and affection of many women. From fellow musicians to stunning actresses, Gerald had an eye for beauty and charm was shocked that he didn't want the women he was with to have a career, he wanted a stay-at-home wife like how his mom's was. Give us a like and comment below. Who is your favorite celebrity that Gerald dated? Kim Whiteley. Gerald Levert and Kim were childhood sweethearts who shared a significant bond. Their relationship inspired the heartfelt song, Addicted to You, which Gerald dedicated to Kim. However, their love story faced challenges when Kim's parents expressed concerns about her being with a musician. Despite their objections, Kim chose to follow her heart and continued her relationship with Gerald. In their journey together, Gerald presented Kim with an ultimatum. He allowed her to pursue her dreams of becoming a comedian and actress in Hollywood but emphasized that if she wanted to be with him, he desired a traditional dynamic where he would be the star of the relationship and she would adopt the role of a stay-at-home homemaker, akin to his own mother. Throughout the years, Gerald and Kim experienced periods of being on and off as a couple. Despite the romantic ups and downs, they always maintained a strong friendship. In fact, they made a pact that if neither of them was married by the time they turned 50, they would marry each other, cementing their connection and bond. Monique. She expressed interest in dating Gerald Levert. Aware of Gerald's history with Kim and being friends with Kim herself, Monique took the respectful route and approached Kim for a blessing. Surprisingly, Kim gave her approval, and Monique and Gerald began dating. However, their romantic relationship eventually fizzled out, and they transitioned into a friendship. Kim praised Monique for her maturity and respect in seeking permission to date Gerald as a real woman. Despite the initial approval granted by Kim, there were reports of a falling out between Monique and Kim over the situation. However, they were able to reconcile their relationship later on, notably during the time of Monique's radio show. Mickey Howard. In the year 1985, Gerald Levert crossed paths with the talented singer Mickey Howard, and their romantic journey began. Their connection was undeniable, but it faced opposition from Gerald's inner circle, who harbored concerns about Mickey's status as a single mother raising two children. There were whispers and comments from Gerald about not wanting a ready-made family and the challenges it might bring. As their relationship progressed, cracks started to form, leading to a breaking point in 1989. Mickey stumbled upon Gerald's stash of pills, which ignited a heated confrontation between them. Unable to reconcile their differences, they made the difficult decision to end their relationship. Within two months of their breakup, Mickey entered into another marriage, hoping for a fresh start. However, the marriage turned out to be tumultuous and fraught with difficulties. Despite the challenges she faced in her new union, Mickey and Gerald remained intertwined in some capacity. Their paths converged once again when Mickey and Gerald reconnected to collaborate on a song for a third album. However, their timing was not aligned, as Mickey was already pregnant with another person's child. Despite their lingering feelings for one another, they couldn't fully commit to a romantic relationship. Instead, they established a unique arrangement where they would stay in each other's lives, seeing each other whenever circumstances allowed. It became a don't ask, don't tell, understanding, allowing them to maintain a connection without the expectations and commitments of a traditional partnership. Candy Burris. In the early months of 2003, Gerald Levert crossed paths with Candy, and they started dating. He was attracted by her beauty and personality. During this time, Candy was a mother to a six month old child and was dealing with her own share of drama involving her baby's father. It was the shared experience of navigating the complexities of co-parenting that brought Gerald and Candy closer together. Gerald embraced Candy's child as if they were his own, and their families blended harmoniously. The children from both sides would play together, creating a sense of unity. Their relationship lasted for two years, but ultimately, they decided to part ways. The primary reason for the breakup was Candy's strong focus on her career, which demanded much of her time and attention. Despite their romantic separation, Candy maintained contact with Gerald's children, continuing to nurture the connections formed during their time together. When the Netflix controversy involving Monique arose, both Candy and Gerald's children stood by her side and showed their support. This display of loyalty demonstrated the lasting bond between Candy and Gerald's family, even after their romantic relationship had ended. Three Baby Mamas 
During the 1990s, Gerald Levert embraced a more adventurous lifestyle when it came to women. This period was marked by his active social life. In 1990, Gerald became a father to two children, born just three days apart, with two different women. However, Gerald's love life was not without its challenges. He found himself entangled in various instances of baby mama drama, often turning to Kim as a confidant to vent about his complicated relationships with the mothers of his children and other women in his life. At one point, he even became engaged to someone else, but would frequently call Kim to complain about his fiance. As time went on, Gerald welcomed his third child in 1998, this time with a third woman. Unfortunately, he struggled to maintain harmonious relationships with the mothers of his children, leading to ongoing conflicts and disputes. In 2005, Gerald went all out to celebrate his daughter's super sweet 16th birthday, organizing an extravagant party that reportedly cost $2 million. This lavish event caused tensions with his other children's mothers, as they perceived it as an unfair discrepancy in the amount of attention and resources given to each child. Gerald died in Cleveland on November 10, 2006, at the age of 40. Gone but not forgotten. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.